was a lesson for me in dedication and perseverance. That's not it. It's a good song. Good song, though. Good song. Can't do them all. Can't play them all. No, I fucking can't. So, as I was saying, there's lessons, there was lessons for me in this song, and it was, it was perseverance, and it was dedication, and it was, it was not knowing what the word quit means, because I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I still to this day, at fucking almost 52 years old next week, I still can't even figure out my purpose. So anyways, this song, I used to play this song back in the day in Springfield. I used to play it at Breakers in West Springfield. I used to play it at the Cloverleaf in Enfield. And none of y'all motherfuckers wanted to hear me play it. <laughs> y'all used to leave. You used to start conversations with the person next to you. You'd go to the bathroom to take a piss. Y'all didn't give a fuck. It's because I was the fucking human jukebox over in the corner and I was supposed to be playing songs that all of you recognized. So, I fucking don't know quit. So I kept playing it. Woo! Even though y'all motherfuckers hurt my feelings on a nightly basis. I kept playing it. And I kept playing it, and I kept playing it, and I kept playing it. And then, and then I got a record deal, and I waited. And I put it on the second record. Because I fucking kept playing it. <laughs> and that song that nobody wanted to fucking hear, none of you, none of you that like to say, oh, we're fucking from the beginning, man. We the fucking infinity. None of you wanted to hear it. And this song went on to sit at number one for 20 fucking weeks straight. So eat a dick. <laughs> One at a time, motherfucker. Oh my head. 
Consequences 